All right, I want you guys to go uh, support Piston Mike. Y'all go to the subscribe button. He at 480 right now. Let's get him to 1,000, 100,000, 500,000, million subscribers as soon as possible, Ben. Let's help him put it down. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. If you like the Pistons, you want to support me, think about sending me a donation, the uh, best way you can help me right now is go subscribe over to Piston Mike and go uh, help him get his numbers up, putting in work, hard work, smart work, dedicated work, consistent work. So make sure you go over there and appreciate that work. So remember the name is Piston Mike and I have a link in the description. If you have a problem, uh, find it on YouTube. It'll be under source link or Piston Mike channel link in the description. Peace. All right, man, let's talk about uh, uh, this Lions trade for Christian McCaffrey. I was seeing something on Twitter a few days ago where uh, somebody said we should trade DeAndre Swift in the 32nd pick for uh, Christian McCaffrey, all right? Um, Christian McCaffrey, 25 years old, to be 26 in June, so he still, for the most part, is in um, – is, um, is in his prime, right? Um, would be a weapon for us, but you know, running backs usually hit that twenty after twenty nine. They kind of um, go down the drain. But he twenty be twenty six in June, and he has some injury issues. But the Panthers, you know, are uh, are listening to offers for Christian McCaffrey, you know, and obviously, I think for uh, for McCaffrey, I think personally, I think he probably want to land somewhere he can win. You know what I'm saying? Um, or close to winning, you know. Also, Saquon Barkley is an option. Also, I talk about Bobby Wagner. Have clients have an interest in, in Bobby Wagner. So, I mean, like I said before, a lot of people uh, probably, you know, probably interested in them. Um, you know, love to have him on the team, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just paid him, and you know, he got injured two years in a row, and that most people could look that could be the end of him. I mean, him and Saquon that'd be interesting too. I mean. I mean, Saquon Barkley could be an option, too. I guess we could talk about him. They shop at Saquon Barkley, too. And, you know, looking at both of them, I guess, you know, Sa he's done. He's accomplished more than Saquon Barkley. But the thing is, he's been in a better position than Saquon Barkley. As soon as the Panthers ain't had respectable quarterback play, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, McCaffrey started getting injured, you know. And, you know, you could probably say, well, he can't handle the low. He a glorified scat back just like DeAndre Swift, but, you know, he showed that he can carry the load and maybe that was his maximum potential. You know, and, you know, Saquon Barkley, for the most part, people pretty much start calling him a bust now because, you know, he never produced. But then you got to look at, you know, where he where he fell at. You know, you know, Daniel Jones has zero proficiency at playing the quarterback position. You know, zero proficiency playing that position. So, you know, if you ask me which one I'd rather have, I mean, how old is Saquon Barkley? That's a great question. He got to be around the same age, a little bit younger. He is 25 years old, so he just turned 25. So he's like a year younger. So he just turned 25 years old, man. So, I mean, like I said before, they both in bad positions. The Giants had the best offensive line. Carolina has a good run blocking defensive line. But, um, I mean, you know, for McCaffrey, man, um, I don't want to give up a first-round pick for him, though. If I can give up like a third and future second, you know, for him, then maybe I'll think about it. He's a weapon. But he's already been in the league one, two, three, four. He had five years in the league. He already had five years in the league. You know what I'm saying? He had 2,000 yard, uh, uh, you know, seasons from 18, 19. He's only uh, made the Pro Bowl once, all Pro once. That both was in 2019. He also received a uh, thousand, uh, thousand yard, received 1,005 yards in that same season. He rushed for 1,300. 1,387 and 1,005 yard receiving four touchdowns, receiving 15 scoring. So, you know, he had one really one good year. And the last two seasons been injured. He had a, his second year, he had 1,098 yards and 867 yards, six touchdowns receiving and seven uh, on the ground. So he really ain't, you know what I'm saying? You know, he had two really good seasons. And outside of that, you know, his rookie year and two pedestrian seasons this year. He played 10 games out of the possible what, uh, 33 games in the last two years, you know, and um, let's see what the injury was this year. Because he played this year, he was effective. Let's see what the injury was. He was out with the injury, with an ankle injury. So, uh, 
So he's out of the wrestling. He suffered an ankle injury. Teams announced that he placed him on season injury. Uh, so I don't know what the – he also tested positive for COVID this year. So that took some games away. But uh, what's the injury? I mean, playing videos and stuff. So whatever it is, the ankle. So somebody says now he simply can't stay healthy. So, so it's an ankle injury. I don't know what this is. ankle injury is. They play like videos, but ankle injury. So, so it's an ankle. Oh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, for the right price, bro. Like if I can tell you, like a couple thirds or future second. I think about it. I don't. I think about. It. I think he's too talented. But I mean, not for no first than DeAndre Swift. I could say DeAndre Swift in the third and. You know, two thirds or third and a fourth, then I'll do it. That'll be my price right there. But Asian running back, you look at the uh you look at the contract too. I don't know how much of the contract they gonna take on. It's a question, but I mean it's a potential out after next season, so you're not really married to him. That's why you're not gonna really give up a lot of money. But 11 8, 11, 8, 12, he's gonna make eight four next year. So he ain't really he kind of twenty six in dead money. His cap hit is fourteen, so but after next year, you can get out of there. So that might be the selling point. But yeah, I mean, maybe you kick the tires on there. I mean, you, you mean also him and Craig Reynolds and him and Jamal Williams, you kind of can scale scale it back for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's a risk that I'm willing to take. Like maybe Swift and you know, um, third and future second or a, a second, you know, or a third that can another third that can turn into a second, depending on his performance, how many snaps he plays, something like that what you call those incentives based, I, I would consider doing it. But I would do like, you know, a third this year and then I incent, incentive uh third next year if you do well, turn into a second or something like that. So, yeah, I'm willing, I'm willing to kick the tires on, on, on that, possibly. But let's talk about Saquon Barkley, too. You know what I mean? They also shopping uh, Sha- Sha- Saquon Barkley, okay? Um, I mean, ain't really produced much, but then you got to look at this situation, man. You know, Jared Goff is more proficient um, playing the quarterback position than Daniel Jones. I mean, that, that's that's like you know night and day. And uh, the Barkley trade, Wilmer Giants asking for a star a star running back, very significant. So they said I spoke to two two teams. Both told me the Giants potentially asked for Patrick Saquon was very significant. One just since GM said I don't get the sense they actually want to trade him. To me, it's just posturing. But Joe's. Uh, showing what they want a first, a first, so they want a first. So I'm not, I'm, I wasn't even willing to trade a first for him. So, I mean, would y'all trade thirty second for, um, for Saquon Barkley? I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm not willing to do that. He ain't, he ain't showed nothing. You know, he ain't showed nothing at all to, to suggest he, he should be. You know, what I'm saying. You know, he was one Pro Bowl. My bad. I didn't even know he made the Pro Bowl one year. His rookie year, he threw 1,307 yards, 11 TDs, caught 91 balls, 721, four TDs. He did get 1,000 yards the next season, 13 games. You know, caught 73, 52 passes out of 73, 430 games. So he had two solid years. And after that, he was injured. He played 13 games last year. He only played two the game year before that. Um, 25 years old, year brown, year and younger than Saquon. I mean, than uh, Christian McCaffrey. Uh, let's see, he was injured this year. Yeah, he hurt his ankle this year. Yeah, he hurt his ankle. He came back though. Yeah, he came back. So yeah, that was you know so hurt his ankle when he came back. So I mean, like I said before, good, good, you know, good running back. I'll be willing to do the same deal for him. Maybe I'll be willing to dish out a second for him, a future second like a fourth, you know, DeAndre Swift, that would be about it. But, I mean, court and running backs a dime a dozen. I can go get uh, I can go get Kenneth Walker and he'll be fresher than both of them. But, um, yeah, I'll just kick the tires. Those would be the deals I'm willing to do. Maybe I'll be, you know, maybe, uh, you know, same deal with Christian McCaffrey. I mean, running backs, you can find them. We got Craig Reynolds. We get Kenneth Walker the third if we that press to get him. And we can – uh. You know, we can we can worry about that other stuff later. So, yeah, I can get Kenneth Walker the third, and you know, stay put. It's a lot of talent, and um, you know, uh, it's a lot of talent in in, in a running back uh, position this year. And you know, you ain't got to worry about jumping up to get nobody. Neither you can stay right where you is, or move up and get somebody you want. So, really, it's no 
real pressure to even think about getting even one of these guys. I mean, if it's the right deal, like I said, man, then I'll think about it, think about that. But get somebody younger and fresher. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you somebody like uh, I don't know, you somebody like Kansas City trying to get over the get over the uh hump, or you somebody like Cincinnati is young enough that can do it and trying to get somebody else to go, you know, with Joe, Joe, uh, Joe uh Mixon or something like that, or you Denver and trying to add a little spaz and jump up there, you Oakland, you trying to keep up, or you Buffalo, you trying to, you know, maximize your firepower or something like that, then I think it's more of a trade for teams like that. You know what I'm saying? So or you want to give uh, Lamar Jackson another weapon in the passing game if you Baltimore, something like that. And you got a preference of running backs so you can rotate in and out. Then fine, but you know only if you one of those type of teams. But you know as far as as far as you know us, I mean we even position to get Kenneth Walker third or the Spiller kid, so it don't really matter. So it ain't that pressing. So apparently the Lions were poorly interested in veteran linebacker Bobby Rabner. The market is popping for the defensive beast after his release from Seattle. It says Detroit Lions are amongst a dozen teams interested in linebacker Bobby Wagner, according to insider analyst George Soltz. After 10 years of defensive dominance in Seattle, uh, Seahawks released Wagner on Wednesday news that came just shortly after Russell Wilson blockbuster trade to Denver. I'm surprised Denver didn't try to take on a contract. The pair were, were the last remaining uh, Seahawks on the Super Bowl. XLV was, I don't know, two winning squads in 2013. Wagner's uh, releases cost cutting, uh, freeing up 16.6 million in cash space. Now, show says there's a competitive market brewing for the better. He says, George Soss a massive market is developing for, for, uh, for former Seahawks All Pro linebacker Bobby Wagner, Dolphins, the Ravens, the Chargers, the Broncos, the Rams, the Cardinals, the Niners, the Bur- Cowboys. Dan Quinn loves him, but they're short on cash. All are interested. He said, the league source just told me the Steelers are interested in Bobby Wagner. Um, Adding another AFC 30 million, uh, AFC team with 30 million in cap space, uh, to the potential suitors. So, uh, so, well, also, we, we, we was thrown in there too. So, um, so it was one of the teams that's interested as well, too, in one of the reports. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, he got some options. He can stay in the AFC West and give it back to them. He can stay with the AFC West, the Niners, the Cardinals, the Rams. Not sure how they money looking. I mean, uh, we can pay, you know, but that's a lot of competition right there, man. South, we compete with South Beach. We compete with Lamar. They got to pay Lamar. The Chargers, him and, you know, Khalil Mack together, staying on the West Coast in L.A. So, I don't, I don't really envision him even giving us real, a real look and coming here unless the money is robust. So, he got so many great other options to come here. But we need to be younger at the position anyway. So, we need to find our, our uh, Stephen Boyd. We need to find our Chris Spielman for a long time at that position and anchor it down. So, I mean, the kid from Utah, you know, the kid from Wisconsin need to be guys that's on our radar. But you can plug him in and they can play on the side of him and learn some things too. His wisdom um, would be just as valuable as what he bring on the field too. So, oh, yeah, I don't really see him giving us a real look to come here, but it is what it is. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think about that. But, yeah, I, you know, it would be nice for him to have him. I still would draft another inside linebacker. I play him at week, at the weak side, wherever they want to play him at. That's what I would do. You know, the reason the reason being is then they can learn from him how to play the middle. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, or if you're going to play a 3-4, you can play them together. That's the beautiful thing about it. If you're going to play a 3-4, you can play them together. So um, you're going to play a 4-3, then you know how that go. So there's something to look at too, man. But, um, yeah, Beast, man. So I think he's going to go somewhere where he got an opportunity to win. And San Diego, able to have him and Khalil Mack, I mean, that's – that would be something to marvel at. You know what I'm saying? They, have, they need to with Mahomes and Russell Wilson in that division too. So um, they they probably would need to do so. So, yeah, Chargers might be making a run, man. They got to pay for that stadium. They got to get some fans in that stadium too. If somebody, all the other fans be up in there too, man, be dissing, they, dissing them. But, uh, yeah, they got some of the dopest uniforms going right now. So that's interesting. But, other than that, man, it is what it is. You got Detroit Lions top playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. You go live. I drop a video. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, that's for the donate. Just share the video. Thumbs up. Comment. Check out my main channel right here on YouTube. Goodfellow TV for more sports, music, news, entertainment. Let me know what you think about Saquon, Christian McCaffrey, Bobby Wagner. Interested, not interested. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.